Hey, and welcome to this video from Gymnashack. I'm going to give you an introduction to Shack Slides, which is one of the most popular ways to build a slideshow in Joomla. It's easy to use, it's easy to set up, and it's got lots of different configuration options. I'm going to walk you through creating your first slideshow with Shack Slides. Now, Shack Slides is set up as a module, which makes it as easy as possible to place where you need on your site. Because it's a module, you can put it in the header or the sidebar or inside an article or wherever you might need. If you're going to set up a slideshow module, you're going to need to find a source. Inside the module, there's a tab called Slides Sources and you can choose to pull from a folder in your media library you can choose to pull from your Joomla content articles, or Shack Slides has its own component where you can upload images. For this first example, I'm going to choose Joomla content, and I'm going to choose to pull from a category called blog. The slideshow runs on categories, so you will need a category which is specific to the articles in your slideshow. Let's take a look at how I have that set up. If I go to content and categories, I have a category called blog. And what I'm gonna do is take the articles that are in this category and automatically show them in the slideshow. If I go to the articles tab, we can see article one, article two, article three, article four. All of these are in the blog category. So all of them are going to show in the slideshow. If I open up one of the articles, I have a few different choices for how I can place the images. I could choose to pull the first image from the main body, so I could add images inside here. However, it's a little neater and cleaner to use this images and links option here, and I'm using the intro image up here. So what I've done is select an image for the intro image, and this is the image that's going to appear in the slideshow. Each of these articles has an image just like that in the intro image field. Now that I have the content set up, I'll go to extensions and modules. I will open up Shack Slides. Inside the module, you can see the settings. We're pulling from Joomla content, we're pulling from the blog category, and the images in the slideshow are going to be from the intro image field. All of that is configurable, but we're setting up a basic slideshow here to show you how it works. What we also need to do is actually place it on our site. I need a big position where the slideshow has lots of room at the top of the site. And I've chosen a position one, which is right at the top of the site. I've published it in that position. And if I go to the front of the site, this is what my slideshow looks like. We have Article 1, Article 2, Article 3, Article 4. We just have the title at the moment. We have these arrows for navigation. And we also have these buttons at the bottom to allow you to move back and forth between the different slides. All of that is configurable, for example, if you go to the display options here, we have show title set to yes. Down at the bottom, we can choose to show description, which would pull in some body text from the articles. And we can change some of the colors. We can change some of the style. We can also change the navigation. One example of customizing the navigation is a little further down this particular tab. We're looking for the previous next buttons, which have the little left and right arrow to navigate through the slides. One option we can choose is to make the arrows thicker so that they're easier to see and easier to click on. And we can also change the color as well. They're a fairly standard gray color at the moment. I'm going to change the actual link colors to a bright pink color so we can easily see if a change has occurred. And if someone hovers over them, 
let's have a bright green color. Now we can upload our own images here, or we can change the opacity so the images may appear a little fainter or a little stronger over the top of the images. There's a ton you can do with shack slides, but we're going to settle for just changing the color and the width of those arrows for now. If I refresh the front of the site, there we have some bigger pink arrows. If I hover over, they turn green and we can navigate through it there. One more thing I'll show you in this basic introduction to shack slides is the effects. There's all sorts of cool slideshow effects that you can have. This makes your slideshow a little more active, a little more interesting. So let's recap what we've done. We've created a category called blog and we've published some articles inside it. Article one, article two, article three, article four. And they are automatically being added to the slideshow because of the way we've configured Shack Slides. If I'm on the article screen and I add article five to the rotation, I go to images and the intro image field here. I've been using some of the default images. In this case, I'm going to use one of the default headers that come with a standard Joomla site. If I save and close this, can you notice what's gonna happen? Yes, it's a trick question. This is in the uncategorized category, so it's not going to go to the slideshow. If I want article five to go to the slideshow, I'm going to have to choose the blog category. Now it should be automatically in the slideshow rotation. We have article four live now, and there's article five immediately after it. So we've successfully added a new slide, a new article to our page. And now every time you add a new blog post to your site, it will automatically appear inside Shack Slides for you. Now, Shack Slides has tons of other features and we cover some others in Joomla Shack videos here on our YouTube channel. If you haven't tried out Shack Slides yet, head over to joomlashack.com and give it a try. It's integrated closely with many of our templates. We think you'll love it if you're looking for an easy and beautiful slideshow extension for your Joomla site.